on the Paul Pluto channel, remember, like, subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel. Man cannot live on Google Ads alone. I need support. You can sponsor me on Patreon. Sponsor me on Patreon. You can also sponsor me by doing a, uh, a phone call, a paid phone call. Consultancy, I give advice on any topic. Finance, luxury goods, relationships. You name it, I know the answer to it. And if I don't know, I'll give it a poke. I'm doing a paid review for Philip. And uh, he says, hi Arch, would you help me? I need you to stop me last lusting after a rose gold chocolate Daytona with a black crocodile strap. Can you vid this for me? Help, Philip. Yes. So this aim of this video is to stop you lusting after a rose gold chocolate Daytona. And I gotta tell you, this is a great piece. This is a fantastic piece. It is a very, 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 very good piece. It's a piece I would love to have myself there. The only problem is, let me just tell you, let me tell you, is that I kind of feel with the Rolex Daytona itself there, their interpretation of rose gold is a little bit different to mine. See, I love the rose gold that Patek Philippe uses. That uh, I love the rose gold that um, Jaeger Le Coultre uses. I think that's a very, very special rose gold. Whereas the rose gold that Rolex users, see, they've got their own gold-making facilities. They've got their own gold foundry. And I kind of think it looks a little bit too coppery or brassy. Coppery, coppery. You know what I mean? It just, it just doesn't pop like... Um, It just doesn't pop like it should. It should pop more than it does. It's kind of, and I got to tell you, one of the dangers in buying a Rolex on the leather strap is that you miss out on that bracelet. I mean, realistically, you're going to get a lot better bang per buck. Shit. You're going to, I miss the bin. Don't you hate that? You're going to get a lot, you're going to get a lot more, less bang per buck if you get one on the strap. So I really think there, you know, I do love me Daytonas. I love the Daytona. Yes, I do. I love, <coughs> I love Daytonas. Daytonas rock. But I got to tell you there, it's, it, there, it, if, if I was to search for one myself, I would want one which really, I would want one that has the bracelet. I mean, a gold watch. You need to have the bracelet. I mean, what's the point in getting a gold watch if it's just... I mean, you can do it on a paddock. A paddock is okay. A paddock is fine. You know, paddock, we know the rules for paddock there. But i got to tell you, for other brands, it's kind of... Uh, how do I put it? It's... I think in Rolex, you got to get the bracelet. you got to get the gold bracelet. And my advice is, yes, the steel Daytona is hot. Yes, the two-tone is reasonably hot. But gold is so hard to move. They are kind of, you know, it's kind of like Mercedes-Benz. The Mercedes-Benz C-Class, always popular. E-Class, yeah, it's popular. Then the S-Class. Damn expensive! You know, and they, they don't sell anywhere near because people, not mere mortals, can't afford this stuff. So, I, I would really say to you, if you're lusting after a steel Daytona, that's okay because you'll always get your money back. It's always, it's a very, very easy thing. You get a steel Daytona, you'll get your money back. But if you start buying these gold pieces, ooh, and if you've got a Daytona bug, 
have you got a chronograph bug? How about one of these? A Bregster, a Breg A Type 20. You can get these on the used market, four to five thousand US dollars. Four to five, well, five thousand for a nice one. Five to six for a nice one. I mean, what great bang per buck is that? So, I I would say you know if you've got an urge to get the um, the rose gold with the chocolate dial Daytona, yes, I understand it is sexy. It is very sexy. But back the truck up, back the truck up and just think, hang on a minute, the steel one's hot, the gold one, not so hot, and you can bet your bottom dollar it's not going to have the retained value like the steel one. Anything gold in Rolex, it can, you've got to buy it on the used market. Buying it new, whoo! It's very savage. And I honestly, I think you're going to do yourself a disservice if you buy it on a strap. You're going to really do yourself a disservice. And uh, I think you've got to get the Daytona. It's got to come on a gold bracelet. And if you're going to buy a gold Daytona, I would be going... I, I think yellow gold is possibly... I like the... Uh, the, the rose gold... I I... I I, I, I actually was paid to deliver it. I was basically, the, they paid me, they gave me a free ticket to deliver this watch. Uh, so, I, I, you know, because you can't really post that sort of thing. It gets stolen, so I hand-delivered it. And i got to be honest with you there. I, I, I just didn't think the rose gold. I mean, I thought I would love it. I thought I would love it, but it just didn't pop as good as I thought it would. You know, that's just just didn't pop as much as I, I, I thought this thing would pop, so it kind of uh, disappointed me like that. So my answer to you is if you want a Daytona, get steel. Steel Daytona is bulletproof. You'll always get your money back. You buy these gold ones here. you got to be a bit careful. you got to be careful. I mean, Paddock in gold is a different story, but Rolex, you've got to get certain models. you got to be careful. It's like I had a guy who really wanted the green day date. That's the green dial day date on a leather strap. And I said, oh, yes, it's beautiful. I saw the pics. He sent me pics. It's beautiful. It's sexy. It's gorgeous. But are you really going to get your money back on that sort of piece there? You, you know what I mean? I mean, um, it kind of these gold pieces can be very, very tough. You've got to buy the right one. And uh, I, I think, honestly, rose gold with the chocolate dial, yes, it's sexy, it's gorgeous, but ooh, it's not good. Not all Daytonas are easy to sell. It's the steel one that is so wanted. The other ones aren't as hot. Yes, it is a cool watch. Yes, it's beautiful. I, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, but... But we've got to be careful. We've got to be sensible. I mean, it's very easy to get carried away lusting after things. It's, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. So I'd just be very careful. This is Paul Pluter for the Paul Pluter Channel. Tell me what you guys think of that. Nice one, Archie. That'll stop him buying it. That'll stop him indeed. Yeah.